make a textual representation of it, and then I pass this to the TS through a command line uh, that I trigger from the from the machine. I mean, what I did, what I do is um, I build a command with the text uh, that represents the the world, and I just trigger the the command line, the bash, the command and. I open a new process, a new operating system process uh, from the say command and then I pass the parameters. Parts of those parameters are the, uh, uh, the, the string representation of the, of the model. Uh, but yes, I am coupled to the, um, this, this command because if you don't, uh, in your computer, you don't have a program called say or you don't have a Connector to the OS process, which is the library I'm using. I'm using, uh, for example, in Windows, I don't know how it works. I didn't test this in Windows, uh, but for, for example, in, in Linux, this works. If you have uh, an, an alias in your TTS for this one, uh, and also um, the navigation is is um, more or less uh, usable, but it's not complete. There are uh, some missing shortcuts. For example, you cannot open the world menu uh, using uh, shut the keyboard. Uh, it's really simple to implement that, but I didn't implement this yet. Um, yeah, and the main uh, issue I think uh, that I realized uh, after uh, some of the of the talks in the small talks is uh, how important it is to represent the information. Uh, Accurate and thinking in the user, because what we are doing now is represent what's happening in the screen, and that is not uh, relevant for um, users users that doesn't use the screen. I mean, uh, you are trying to represent something that is not relevant to them, and that, I think that's the more uh, important issue in at least in my implementation and. The current implementation of that uh, What I learned for this, uh, there, there will be a, a demo. So, but some uh, lesson that I learned is that uh, how important is document things. Uh, for example, I uh, had to. Uh, it was really frustrating to uh, learn um, uh, the other process to understand how the, the event handling uh, events works in. Uh, in Morph, and given that this, this is a, a library that uh, was developed in the 90s, and there is a lot of years, there is a lot of documentation, but I couldn't find any uh, single source with all the, the needed information. Uh, maybe it's me, but I don't know, I, I couldn't find that. I mean, a, a single site where I found all the documentation. I just have to um, create a, a, a complete understanding of how it works, uh, combining the browse, browsing the code, uh, debugging, testing the environment, and <coughs> reading some uh, partial uh, documents. Um, let's go to the demo. Menu more. I have to use the, the mouse. Before. But now I will use just the keyboard. So you, I just open the word new. And okay. As you can see, for example, when you uh, select uh, different options, you detect the keys fix. Let's try, for example, pressing multiple keys and this. Restore display R. You can see that the voices are not uh, overlapping. Uh, let's open a system browser, for example. Okay. Workspace browser. Let's, I have to use the, the system category. The mouse uh, system category list. Is that a photo okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now I, I use uh, the shortcuts that is already built in Wiz to switch between uh, the more class list. System category list. 
Colonel classes. Colonel met. Colonel numbers. Class list. Complex. Number. Instance. Here, class. As you can see, I am focusing the, the buttons. I have to make the, the buttons to respond to the, uh, the keyboard elements. Message category list. Arithmetic. Comparing. Message list. Close to. Is within. Ups from. <coughs> Browse, senders, inheritance, class show is within. An integer ups from a float. Self as float is within. An integer ups from a float. Is within. An integer ups from a float. Self as float is within. An integer ups from a float. For example, if I type, uh, this is not speaking, but, yeah, I know, for example, let's say I want to uh, reload the reading. And is within. An integer ups from a float. Object new self as float is within. An integer ups from a float. Okay, I press a, a, a shortcut that I, um, I wrote for this, uh, it's command R. So it's uh, that you. Um, that triggers the reading of the current text box. Um, this is more or less um, what we can Menu more. And this is it before. Well, for example, I, uh, I also added some, some, Menu more. some details because it was uh, a little annoying to develop and, and the, the system to, to talk all the time. So I implement this. Preferences. Fun switch was arrow TTS. Maybe the names are not the better, but I did include that the option to switch off the, the, the reading. But also, uh, get the switch was arrow language. Uh, and after the, the talk of um, that they say, what happens if you want to read in Spanish, for example? Uh, so I implemented that option. It just took some, a little of time, and for example, it, if we within an integer lips from a float of how can you use a float if we think an integer lips from a float of Is this in Spanish? In Argentina Spanish? Let me write something in Spanish. Declare lo local que... Todos. Yes. Todos. Hola a todos. You can see uh, there are some uh, parts of the system where you need like, the, the mouse to navigate. Uh, I think it's uh, simple to extend and fix those issues. But again, I think that the... the well, let me go... System category list kernel numbers. System category list kernel numbers. and you can navigate through the entire system. Um, 
and you can, uh, for example, say, open this class and uh, type in and, and, and browsing the, the classes and all using the keyboard and not uh, trying to reproduce a, a sound version of what happening in the screen. It is not the, the right way. Uh, and, uh, okay, well, uh, I think it's, uh, it will be, if we think in a far future, um, it will be interesting to integrate some natural language processing for this, for example, if you uh, want to, again, write open this class and tell me what's in, in the protocol of that object, uh, something like that, uh, write queries to the system and the system responds to you. Um, What's happening uh, and interact with the system in a, in a better way than uh, just uh, a, a visual, uh, a sound representation of the view? Well, some numbers of uh, comparison. Uh, so, four fire is straight, but it's uh, quite complex. And for example, more of uh, 60, 60, 25 instances about, uh, well, subclasses. Oh, yeah. I won't throw the wrong way. Yeah, uh, <laughs> about 800. 800 yeah. subclasses or more. Yeah. And yeah. with us, uh, 68. This is great. And well, this version of the server uh, includes this workflow in, in 22 extensions to the system. I, I had to extend the, the, the system classes. Uh, that's something that. Uh, I mean, I had to um, change the, the code in the system rather than uh, write new code and, and also do some meta programming to interact or uh, intercept calls or mental sendings. I could do that, but uh, I was uh, experiment experimenting and tried to, to learn. So I just uh, extended the system and it took 22 methods and in total uh, the package uh, is a uh, 30 meter small. So, do you have any questions? Yeah, so, you, you already said that the, that the implementation was simpler, uh, but uh, still, I want to know a bit more about the differences in handling the errors and, and hooking your code between those systems. Was that very different? Was this not easy? What was the well, I didn't work in uh, the far version. You didn't use I did. yourself on that code? I just wrote uh, this version of from scratch. From scratch. Okay. Right. I, I talked with Matty and he told me more or less what's the, what is the architecture and how far it worked. And, and then we start browsing this and we learn uh, together how the, the events work in more. And that's what I, I did. I could show you some code, but I think it's not relevant for this. It's not the, the, the prettiest code. <laughs> it is a proper concept. Do you want to. We will have the very good ah, okay. afterwards if you want. Okay. Any other questions? <coughs> okay. Well, thanks. <laughs>